Hello, welcome to another video with me, Emperor Monkey, and we're going to do a quick rundown of everything 2.9. I'm currently downloading the update, so soon, before or after, I don't know, uh, I'll be getting gameplay of Nibs up. But for now, let's just take a look at the patch. So, obviously, first, first things first, Nibs, new, a skin for Nibs. The new skin for Scoop, but like you can only get it if you go to an event. It says there'll be other opportunities at some online events, so hopefully the next tournament or something, because I, I don't really want to miss out on that. I, th I think the skin looks really good. Um, the new announcer. Uh, custom game settings are now available for everyone. Um, uh, bots, that's for the bots. Vinny has been removed, yes. <laughs> um, thank God. Um, okay, these ones have been updated. And just just a couple of bugs. Okay, global chat. Um, you now log into it immediately now. Okay, that's really important. That's, that's good. It was silly that that didn't happen before. Hopefully it should get used more often then. Um, menus, added a new sound effect. My friend's tried it, he says he doesn't like it, so I'll see what I think when I get in. Shorten usernames in various places, they broke up, don't break the UI anymore. Character names, stats, the screen selector are now sorted alphabetically. I thought that was last patch. Maybe they didn't fix it. Fixing the game would sometimes accidentally select characters adjacent to the one next to the cursor in the character selector menu. So, bug fix. Next character selector, stop if you select the character. Bug fix. Fix. Okay, bug fix. Bug fix. Bug fix. And bug fix. Okay, so just lots of bug fix on the menus. Um, controls, split screeners. Right, bug fix. Um, all bug fixes. Nothing that really affects me. Um, so I don't really care if you want to watch this I'll put the watch read this properly uh, I'll leave it in the link for the description below um, now proper balance okay hummingbird droids have been reduced from 550 to 400 that's quite a lot and that does include uh, Genji and Rillin so that's quite significant um, so they obviously thought that that was a bit too much removed the shield on humming droids including one ones on Relin Genji so again reducing their overall overall effective HP on towers fix an issue where Wraithstone would not work correctly I don't use that anyway but oh well um, fix that teleporting on a health pack wouldn't give you any health uh, fix that you could get stuck while jumping down through platforms oh I think fix that you could get stuck dump down jumping through Right, okay, so I'm, I'm assuming that's talking about when you used to be able to drop a platform on top of the booster pad and you just get stuck on it. Um, oh, that's good, because I used to get cheesed on... I think there's a video on where I just get cheesed by that all game. Fix that you can get hit by bullets in the path between the teleport and turn. Fix that you could get hit by bullets in the path between... I don't understand that one. But okay. Muting a player in game now also shows mute, attack, defend. Oh, that. We need that, that up for a long time. <laughs> Fix that the items, solo crab burger, and medicam have varied in locations in the store. That's good. Okay, we've gone on to Ayla. Now, Ayla's had a massive overhaul. Um, they've said it's just a changer, not a buffer. So that's, that's how I'm. I think I've, I've been hinting at that when I've been talking about her. But I haven't said it in that kind of way. So that's that's what Ayla is at the moment. We'll see if she's better or worse when I load up the game. Um, so she's got a 20% life steal on her chain whack, which is good. Range increased slightly. Um, nerfed the life steal a bit, but increased the damage. Rage now deals 10% of total health. Which is good because that's sort of a nerf. Um, because before it was ridiculous when you could get pills and it just increased your health and it'd do the same 
flat damage. Um, Rage now deals a flat amount of life steal instead of a percentage of the damage. Right, okay, so... So, if you increase the damage, it doesn't increase the life steal. Okay. Uh, Andrew Drawings no longer adds additional self damage. Okay. Alright, that's, that's, that's pretty good. Removed increased damage to self. Alright. Okay, so she does less damage to herself than she used to, but does and does equal equal amount of damage to her opponents, but she's got slightly less life steal on rage and can you know generally has uh, life steal a lot more often instead. Um, Rub balls replace now. Like, Okay, so that's just a buff to Ruban Ball. Oh no, Ruban's Ball's effect replaced. And it will now let Ayla leave Blood Trail, which she can pick up after Rage. Oh, right, okay. Alright, so they've mixed those upgrades together. Right, I get it. So there used to be an upgrade that would speed up your team, and there used to be an upgrade that sped, sped up Ayla, and by the looks of it, I think they've combined them. And they heal her. Okay. Oh, and you can get um, an ability that reduces the amount of damage you do to yourself. So she's a lot less suicide by the looks of it, which I'm pretty pro that. Um, moving on. Health reduced from. Okay, so health has been nerfed. Blaze has been nerfed. Uh. Right, yep. Uh, so, so base slow has been nerfed, but upgrading it to get it better has been nerfed. No, buff. No, nerfed. Basically, she's more expensive than she used to be. Um, disruptor slow increased from... Okay, so that is a buff. Silver coating speed increased, reduced by 10%. So she can't... I wonder if she can still do the achievement, though. There's an achievement for getting all the way from one side to the other on Serona. And I wonder if she can still do that. Right. Dirtpool. Is less expensive. Siege mode. Increased by 10%. Nuke will no longer home. That's quite important. Grid trap has been made better uh, and its upgrades been been made, made better so that's going to suck um, <laughs> reduce collision side of gasoline bullets and their graphics are better okay uh, oh I saw this in the alpha I, tornado deals half the amount of damage but ticks twice as fast so you're more likely to get those hits on people um, it's going to be nasty um, okay, so that just makes. I thought Hammer Pants did that before, but oh well. And and same with the slow. I thought I always thought that's how it should have been. So, um, and tornado damage has been increased because um, it definitely needed an increase, right? Um, Caterpillar King Collision Box returning healing shots and. Right, okay, so the, the bug fix. Um, yeah, that was a bit annoying when that happened. I can, that, I'm can. i glad they fixed that. These changes have been intended to make Norse playstyle more active and more interesting. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> These changes are not intended to nerf or buff, just to make them play differently. Okay. Weedlings now live for a limited amount of time. We knew this and I was dreading this, but we'll see what else they've done. Weedling's base health increased from 400 to 450. Okay. Attack speed increased a little bit. I don't know how much that is. Fertilizer effect replaced with... I think that's the increased health. Will now increase Weedling lifetime to 100% when fertil... Oh. Oh, that's nice. I actually really like that. It's a nice law kind of thing. So, when... So I'm, I don't know whether it'll increase it by another 30 seconds or whether it will 
Uh, by the sounds of it, it'll, it'll add an extra 30 seconds uh, if you spit on it, but it could be permanent. I'm, I think they would have said permanent if they meant permanent. So it's going to... But that's a nice law aspect to it. Remove body collision on weedlings. Um, yeah, that's a big nerf. That's a really big nerf because um, before you used to be able to like just, especially on Ribbit, the Ribbit was the one I did it the most where you could just block areas off and if they were slow characters they couldn't get around. Uh, weedlings damage increased. Corrosive spores now deal normal damage. What? I'm not sure on that. Spit now heals we weedlings though. That's kind of cool. Back of seeds effect. Replace now increase the damage of weedlings by 50% when fertilized. Drip and spit projectile collision boxes increase their graphic better. Feather ball effect. Replaced and will now increase weedlings health by 10%. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about them. I think it's a cool idea. Um, that Spit kind of fertilizes the wheelings. Um, he's going to be played differently. And it's going to be weird playing him. But we'll see. Leon has been changed significantly. And probably buffed. So dummies will now automatically attack. Aggressive AI, AI chip replaced with French baguette, which increases the movement in stealth when wounded uh, when a wounded enemy is below 50%. Now, this kind of means you can tongue someone, attack them for a bit, and if they get away, you go in there, stalk them, and then finish them off, um, which is really strong for an assassin build. Or alternatively, it helps you get away. Um, now, basic AI chip and French baguette switch places in the shop. Clover of Honor now works on turrets, that's the crits, so crits on clones is going to be pretty good. Hungry Sword now life steals at a flat amount, that's a buff for early game. Um, a nerf for late game, but picking up Hungry Sword in the beginning is actually really strong. Spike Tongue Piercing, damage reduced by 10%, boo. Okay, so they, di they didn't like the burst damage, so both Spike Tongue and Morning Star have been reduced by 10%. Um, Clover of Honor displays the correct amount of solar. Dummies will now jump less when there are no higher spots to reach. Okay, so that's just a... That's just a change in the AI. Penny, Energy Pulse Amplified Damage won't increase anymore with just charges, but will now be a flat amount. So I think by the sounds of that, the upgrade that allows you to spam it when you have one charge will be a lot stronger. Chicken in lunchbox, which is the amplified damage, won't increase anymore when, with more charges, but now is a flat amount, so 5% per stage. Um, we'll see how that goes. We'll see. Death lens, damage reduced from 150 to 125 per stage. Okay. Alright. Uh, Herring Stack Badge price r increased and healing reduced. Oh, that's a pretty big nerf. Um, time Rifts no longer affect other Time Rifts. That is, oh wow, how long has that paint patch been in the making? Like, you used to just be able to stack them on top of each other ridiculously. Okay, Hammer of Frost Collision reduced by 10%. Cool. Fixed a bug where the halberd of justice healed for double the amount. Bug fix. Black hole sun stored damage will now decay after 10 seconds. No more stalling with sentry. That's good. However, the base and flat damage will not be affected. Increased health from 1,500 to 1,550. Pretty minor. Black hole sun gravitational pull increased by 10%. Wow. But the upgrade that increases the gravitational pull has been reduced by 10%. So it's just better on base. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. We'll see. Uh, Black Hole Sun is minimum maximum damage being increased by 50. So just some, some small changes to Sentry. Scree fixed uh, bullet collision inconsistent with Kree's totem. So small bug fix. Swings. Anchor hook will now show when there is a hook in its hook. Oh, so when someone's been hooked in the skill in the bottom screen. Um, 
So I guess that's useful if they're hiding in a bush or something you can't see them. Anchor hook is now a lot more stable and a whole bunch of issues are oh, so like when it's like jumped about silly. Teleporting away when stuck to Sweden's anchor now breaks the anchor about time. Um, I wonder if that'll kill you though because you TP into the health so I'm assuming that'd insta kill you if you were like really low. Uh, and you had got the damage on end of uh, anchor. Teleporting. Uh, oh no, sorry. Next line. Anchor hook stun duration decreased. Ah, oh. that's a shame. <laughs> Resolved an issue where pull by could be triggered twice in succession. Okay. Um, grenade poor homes. I can't say that. The grenade upgrade stun duration has been increased. Okay. Sniper toothbrush movement increased. Cool, I like that upgrade. Wheelbarrow with ammo price uh, it reduced from... So they've just uh, brought the price down of that. And double RPG price reduced from... Increased, sorry. Um, so that's the double airstrike, I think. And fair enough. That I think that's really strong. and You shouldn't be able to get that really early game. Volta. Let's see... If they're doing anything interesting to Volta. Happy thoughts are now increasing the max healing wave. Okay. Europhatic thoughts are now increasing the healing of healing wave when fully charged. Okay. These are some of the last changes to try and keep his current healing wave. But we're working on overhaul on Volta. Volta's other skills. We feel we've tried everything to keep him as close to the original self, but time has come and he needs a major change to avoid him becoming too strong in coordination with pre-maids and not useless in solo battles. Huzzah! Let's hope this isn't ridiculous. I'm sure the bait knots have tested it, but we'll see. Now, I have actually just finished downloading the patch, so I'm going to get going on recording that. So, watch my channel for the next couple of days. I'm going to try and get um, nibs, um, but obviously everyone wants to play it. And... I'll see you next time.